Here are the three complementary color sets that you have to choose from. Start with two complementary colors. Turn the strip so that one is going horizontally and one is going vertically and they meet at a right angle or a 90 degree angle. Put one drop of glue down and hold for about 10 seconds until it sticks. And then determine which strip is on the bottom and that's going to be the one that you're going to fold over the top. So in this case it's blue. Fold the blue over the top of the orange and press down. Then take the bottom strip and fold it on top again. And then take the bottom strip and fold it on top again. You continue repeating, taking the bottom strip and making it the top strip. The bottom strip becomes the top strip. It's basically folding over orange and then blue, orange and then blue, orange and then blue. Notice I don't pick the paper up off the table. It's much easier to hold it down with one finger where the two colors meet and fold and you won't make any mistakes that way. If you pick it up, some kids start to wrap the paper around twice and it won't work. So in the beginning, keep your finger on the corner and continue folding the bottom one over the top. Now once you get a little bit done, maybe halfway done, you'll notice it becomes a little challenging to hold it down because it's now about a half of an inch thick. So in that case, you can pick it up and hold it in your hands and continue with the folding process. You will have enough practice by this time that you shouldn't make any mistakes. I'm gonna pick mine up now. It does seem to go a little faster when the strips are shorter. When you get to the end, sometimes one strip will be longer than the other. And in that case, you can always just trim off whatever excess is left. In my example, they're gonna end up being exactly the same size which is good, I've got nothing to trim. We'll put a little drop of glue at the end to hold it down, and then we're finished with this first one. This project will require that you have one, two, three, four, five, six Jacob, Jacob's Ladders, six of them. And this counts as one right here. Put the glue down, hold it for about 10 seconds, Let's see if it worked. Ooh, take a look at that. Look at those complementary colors mixed together. Let's see if I can open and close it like a spring. <laughs> now we need to take the very first Jacob's Ladder and turn it into a circle. So put a little glue at one end and turn it around until the two ends are touching the glue. It doesn't like to stay unless you use a paper clip. So you can slide a paper clip over the last two bumps and get them to stay together until the glue has a chance to harden. Not so easy, you can see. There we go. The first Jacob's ladder is done and we've created a circle out of it.